got the request to do a couple on my trailer hook up here and the tow bar. Got to fill my wood stove first. I use an outdoor wood boiler. I installed it a couple years ago. I just been cutting kind of dried spruce around getting on towards spring I don't have any cured birch so this is working this will get me this will get me oh, um, a little over a day probably a couple days maybe. it's getting warm That's all I got to do for a day's work. Anyway, I use a panel hitch on this, so when I don't want the sled, I just unhook it. I'm done. Yeah. Saves a lot of time. I don't need a flapper and pin anymore. It's kind of a kind of a waste. Someone else asked me about these sleds. These are, uh, I think, the Swedish freight sled was the design. I copied them from something. They're sure nice if you got rough trails, you know, you go on, other people use them, they get hooped up. As fast as you can go on the snow machine, you can tow these and the ride stays nice and smooth. I pull doubles a lot. You know, the rubber tubs work really good out in the virgin snow and out way out, but around town where you got rough trails, these work a lot better. And uh, work for me anyways. I make them, I bend all the corners out of square tubing. And uh, I don't sell them though, but anyways. Okay, here's the tow bar I use for towing. It's not much, it just has a couple of hoops on it. Panel hook hitch up. You can uh, undo this. And then if you're, you know, you have different ski widths on your snow machines. You know, whether you're towing a wide track or a little tundra or something, you know, depends. I usually just leave it in because I only use the one sled, but sometimes I do something else. A couple of bolts here. Not much to it. I just hook it, hook it in the ski. Whether you got a sled broke down or like me, I just want to get an extra one up. I got the big freight sled for towing and stuff, but it's not much fun and it's really hard to take chasing a critter or something. And this is a mountain cat, not a fire cat, but it doesn't matter. M8. So I tow them both in and then I have the best of both worlds when I get it. Could probably make this a little easier to hook up, but. bar in the center keeps your skis from pulling together, you know, and wrecking your toe in. And then, you know, hook it to the sled. I just use a pivot hitch, so that's it. I'll try dragging it around, hold the camera, see if you can see how it works. So I spun out on some ice, I unhooked the panel, just come around, hook back up. Just holding the camera and driving don't cut it. Got a GoPro, but...
The other thing I didn't mention is I, uh, I usually disconnect the belt on the one I'm pulling. Makes it a little easier. I kind of forgot that. Okay, hook it up, disconnect the belt, go. Piece of cake. And don't let it flip over and run into trees like I did. That's why we don't have a windshield. Bummer.